Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be reviewing the Waterman Paris Mysterious Blue Ink. Now this ink is a blackish blue. Um, I've I've um reviewed earlier in my channel the uh, Montblanc, the Waterman Paris. Sorry, something just fell off my desk. Pick that up. Um, yes, the Waterman Paris Serenity Blue or Florida Blue um, ink. Now this ink is blackish blue, as I've said. And it's very nice. So if I open this up, standard bottle, you know, nothing that special, 50 milliliters. Uh, so the main, the main design feature of this is, it's on the, even on the box, this. For your fountain pens, you can just put it like this, or like that, <laughs> I'm trying to, because this is like this, I guess, that would be how it looks, like that, and you can dip your pen in. That is because... If it's running low, it um, if it's running low, you can easily get the ink. Now, uh, I haven't mentioned this, but I really should, and I don't want to make this into like a full expose on every ink I've got. But this Montblanc ink, uh, it's basically the same thing. Just because a lot of pens want to, pen brands want to limit, you know, trying to reach ink. Now, the reason it's got this arc here is because if the ink is running low, you can just tip it, and the ink will all go into this bit, so you can easily get the ink. So that's all I want to say about that ink. Back to the main uh, sh animal. I'm not sure what you call it animal. I like attraction. Main attraction. The Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. I keep saying Mont Blanc. Sorry. Waterman Paris Mysterious Blue Ink, which is a blackish blue ink. Now I'm going to be using the uh, the Conway Stewart Two Eight Six fountain pen. Now, uh, you might have, I've done a review about this earlier, but if you haven't seen it, you can just click subscribe and look at my channel. Anyway, so, this is how it writes with the Conway Stewart, uh, no, Conway Stewart, what am I doing? Conway Stewart, uh, fountain pen. So, this is Waterman. Uh, let me see this. Ink. Um, now, this ink, and I'm not sure it was right, um, I'm running with the Conway, the Conway Stewart. One, uh, is it one? No, it's yeah. This is a two eight six. All right. So as you can see, this is a still shot of the um ink. No feathering whatsoever. But oh, you'll be able to see that a bit better when I write the quick brown fox champs of the lazy dogs. Here we go. Fox. Jumps over the lazy dog. Alright, I'm going to do a close up so you can see the feathering. Now, this pen is not prone to feathering, but it has a little bit of feather feathering. So, you'll be able to see if this doesn't feather, it's a very good ink. Aha, uh -huh. you can see on the very close up, let me just put a bit more light on it. There we go. It's microscopically feathering on. See that B just there and the brown? You can see there's microscopic feathering, but it's no. Sorry about the focus. There we go. It's no problem whatsoever. This feathering is. Like, from here, you can't even tell it's feathering. Um, you can see a bit on the Q how it's a bit wonky, as in a bit, you know, zigzagish in the microscopic terms. But if. You'll be able to see how it looks when I just do these sort of twirls. Ink flow flows on. Waterman is a very reliable ink brand. It will it will work for um every uh, pen basically. Um, it's Waterman blue inks or black inks, whatever you want to do. It's probably one of the most beginner. Best brand 
there are. It's not the most fancy, it's not the most, you know, beautiful brand, but the shading is superb. This ink is one of the best inks. Now, what I like about it is um, the bluish black is perfect. Sometimes when you get a bluish black, the, the black just is so strong, it just makes it look like black. Now, if you have the black too strong, and you've got just a tiny bit of blue, it really doesn't work. But this is a very good shading, as the ink is superb. Now, um, I'm not sure I just showed you the box. Not sure I did that, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, this ink is superb. Now, the only thing, the only thing I don't like about it is the flow is just a tad different. Now, the, I just... You can see a bit here. Now this is sort of, you might blame some line variation, but it's sort of, if you see uh, here in this twirl, here, you can see when it comes up here, it's a bit lighter, and then here it's much darker. Now that sort of, whoops, not crush the pen. Um, it's sort of, uh, it sort of is reliant on the pen, but I've used it in other pens and it does sort of the same thing. So sometimes the ink can just be a tad, but it's very, a tad, um, you know, uh, not as good flow. But it looks perfect. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Anyway, getting back to the main thing, what do I give it out of 10? I give this, can't believe I'm going to say this, I give it a 9 out of 10. Which, if you, uh, if you watch all my other videos, again, you can just subscribe and down below and, um, Look at all my other videos. But it is superb. I mean, I have not. I have not, um, I have not, I think, rated anything above 8.5. This is my first 9, and it's a good 9, because it's a wonderful ink. Probably the best ink I've ever used. Strong statement. Yet. Best ink I've ever used yet. Hopefully, um, you like this video, you can... Uh, comment, give me anything, I, any, uh, you know, suggestions on what to, uh, review, but yes, um, like, dislike, comment, subscribe to the channel, please, and that's all, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time, bye-bye.